You know me. Uh, calculate the number of grams of glucose. How about that one? That'll be a hard one, right? Hard one. Calculate the number of grams of glucose in uh, 7.50 times 10 squared mils, so 750 mils of a 15% glucose solution. So remember, percent weight volume is going to be what? The mass of the solute. Right, guys? In grams. You guys going to help me out or I'm going to do um, and over the volume, right, of uh, solution. solution, right, yeah, and, and millage, right, times 100%. Okay, so let's write down what we know from the problem, okay? So do we know the mass of the solute? So that's what we're looking for, okay? <coughs> do we know the volume of solution? And is it in milliliters? Yeah, so we're cool. What is it, 750? 7.5 times 10 squared. Okay? But we also know what? The concentration of the solution, right? Which is, in this case, we can write percent weight volume, we know. So we'll put that all in like a little bracket because it's just one thing, or parentheses or whatever. Um, and what is it? 15.0? 15.0%. Okay? So, actually, if you want to think about it, it's actually percent grams per mil. Okay? So, you, if you're doing it this way, you kind of need to, if you want to cancel out your units like I always teach you, the way to write your units would be like this. Or, here, I'll even make it better for you. Like that. Okay? It'll make it a lot easier. Okay? That's a G. So, let's just uh, manipulate this equation in a way that isolates our M variable. Okay? So, um, let's just, for right now, instead of having all this percent, all this D, uh, D, W, all that stuff, I'm just going to make it X. It'll be easier, okay? So, X equals MV times 100%, right? And remember, x equals that. Is that okay? Okay, so we're trying to solve for m. We could also write it like this, right? Because it's the same thing. So what do we got to do? We got to multiply both sides by v, right? Is everybody okay with that? Cancel, cancel, right? So what do we got now? We got Vx equals M. This is not an X. We should probably do that. <coughs> Easier to understand. So Vx equals M uh, times what? Times 100% still. And percent grams mils, okay? Grams per mil. <coughs> Like that. That's all it's units with. Okay? And then all we got to do is, but for right now, let's just not put those other units because it looks like it's confusing some people. We'll put them away. Okay? So, how do we isolate M? We divide both sides by what? What was it? Come on, guys. Right? Like that? Okay? So do we know everything? So what's V? Or 
percent grams, and this is what I was saying. Now we can put all those units. One mil, right? Because we're going to need to cancel out mils there, right? And we're going to have to cancel out grams there. Does that make sense? Why I'm doing that? And then down there, one hundred percent. Now you can say it. Okay, so do all our uh, units cancel out except for one of them, the one that we want? So let's, mills cancels with mills, right? Percent cancels with percent. And what are we left with? Grams. Is that what we want? Is that a good mass number? Okay, cool. So, we got grams and what do we got? 7.5. Or we'll just say 750 times 15 divided by 1. What did you guys get? What was it? 112.5. 113, right? 113 grams, and if you wanted to, grams of glucose. Right? Is everybody okay with that? Why is it 113 and not 112.5? Because of sick bits, right? So, so that was a harder one, right? Okay. But not so hard, right? Yeah, not so hard. But, okay. Any other questions on that? I think the weirdest thing about these is if you like to do like me, cancel units, you got to remember that it's actually percent mass volume. You know, so you got to put those units there. But if you don't like canceling units, like some of you just throw numbers all over the place and get the right answer somehow, then that's cool too, you know? So. Okay.